And here's the pork belly. We found this at our local MD Oriental Mart. It is as greasy as anything you can imagine. Really thick bacon. Since I know they slow cook it for six to eight hours, so a little cheat. We're gonna cook it low and slow in the oven for two and a half hours at 180. And then once that's done, throw it on the barbecue with some hickory barbecue smoking chips. See in about two and a half hours. Tassadi here. I got this part of the recipe from Old Gordo. You know, Gordon Ramsay. Let's test it, make sure it's nice and tender. All right, to be completely honest, I just checked that pork belly and it was not as tender as I would like it to be. Was it the right texture and consistency that the Arby sandwiches? So I'm putting it back in for an hour. Thanks, Gordon. So also what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna put a little bit of that barbecue seasoning on there as well as the barbecue sauce I chose. Now they said it was a smoky Q. I'm going with Sweet Bay Berets. You can choose your own adventure. You can pick whatever barbecue you want. They suggest, or they suggest, they suggest when you steal a recipe. On the description, it was Smoky Q, so. For the seasoning, I'm going with butt rub because who doesn't like to get their butt rub from time to time? To go ahead and cover that nice and liberally, I'm gonna put a little pre-barbecue on there. Excuse me, excuse me, that was rude. For one more hour. It's gonna be very, very, very low heat to no heat. Thanks, Drain. Sure, it's not directly underneath the smoke. You'll get a really nasty, bitter taste if you do it that way. You want to interact. In fact, this isn't even as indirect as I'd want it to be. I'd like it to be an off-centered smoker, but you know, you work with what you got. Air conditioning just kicked on. It's hotter than hell out here. Okay. It's gonna fill this. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. You are good to go. Now that it's only been about nine hours later and the pork belly's ready to go, about an hour before the pork belly's ready, you're gonna wanna marinate your onion straws and some buttermilk. So this is the onion straw portion of it, which is crazy, because this is actually what, gonna be the, probably the most labor intensive part. No, like I said, because the pork belly took nine hours. Now the thing with onion straws, or onion strings, I always call them onion straws for some reason. I, what do you call them? Onion straws. Yeah, see, I don't know, maybe maybe we're just some backwoods mofos. With onion strings, they're supposed to be very, very, very thin. And rather than just sitting here slicing them, even though I, not, I like my fancy little knife, I'm gonna use this. Go ahead and put your onion straws, or in this case, very, very thin onion rings. Very thin. A cup of buttermilk, which I think is about, yeah. You're gonna want one cup of flour. That doesn't look like enough, does it? I think the recipe's full of crap. I'm putting more flour. One and a half cups, how about that? Paprika, little garlic powder, salt. All that black pepper. There you go. Great value canola oil. Seems like everything we get is great value, isn't it? That's how you know when we have more money. We stop getting great value shit. To be able to submerge it, so this, that's perfect right there. You're gonna wanna get this to 375 degrees. So they said on the recipe to use thongs to... That was tongs. Hmm? Tongs. Well, I'm gonna cut that part out. I don't have tongs, or thongs for that matter. Or do I? Am I wearing them now? No. Get them all in there, give them a powder bath. Gonna give them a powder bath. Shake them up. My eyes are burning. Yeah, this is... My nose a... is burning. I don't like it. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Why'd you say it like that? I don't know. Make a mess, that's that's part of the fun. Not really, because then I have to clean it up. So our temperature right now is at 380, but the thing with deep frying, as soon as you put in whatever you're going to fry, the t temperature drops very quickly. Watch out for splash bag. That sounds sexual too. It's gonna cook quick, probably a minute or two. We have our handy dandy fancy little tool that is almost the size of the pan we're using. Take this off the heat. Rest them on a napkin because they are going to be greasy as a mofo. Okay, what's wrong? Is it me? So this recipe calls for smoked cheese. Smoked cheddar cheese. What we did was we could not find a smoked cheddar cheese. What I did was, believe it or not, I threw this directly on the grill when there was no heat and just smoke. 
I made sure that this was nice and cold so I wasn't gonna lose its shape or melt. And I put it out there for half an hour and it did get a nice smoky quality to it. So hey, when in doubt, improvise. When in doubt, improvise or ruin your entire meal. That's kind of our philosophy here. And slice this nice and thin. I'm gonna oh. go ahead. What? It's even worse now. I know they have one big piece, but I wanna make sure that they're uniform and they melt properly. Cutting the cheese all damn day. I knew it. Mm. You taste it? You taste a little, you can absolutely taste the smoke in there. That's so cool, I can't believe that worked. I knew that was gonna either go up in flames and be a horrible disaster or mildly work. Time to build this bad boy. Folks, this is a genuine bona fide copy of Arby's pork belly sandwich. Honestly, this thing looks good. Gordon Ramsay uh, promised me it was going to be like two and a half hours. Nice job, Gordo. You donkey. I might do an impression of um, Gordon Ramsay. I sound like Shrek. It's calling donkey. But also, we're losing light. It's getting dark in here. So, bottoms up, friends. Flavor is awesome. So good. Oh my god. This is like a big old fat plate of bacon. It's hot in here. Actually, the Sweet Baby Ray's is pretty damn good it on is here. It's good on there. I'm not even a barbecue person. The Sweet Baby Ray's is really working because of all the smoke. Mm -hmm. It's a little, it has a hint of sweetness to it. Mm. But that cheddar cheese in there smokes slightly, and the onion straws make it crunchy, that sweet barbecue sauce, and the bun was good, light, lightly toast, a little buttery. And the, honestly, Actually, the mayonnaise, of, which I dislike mayonnaise, added something to it. A little bit of creaminess at the mm -hmm. bottom. There was supposed to be lettuce on it, but we said, nay. Nah, we don't do <laughs> lettuce with smoked meats. Sorry, that's weird. <laughs> Guys, this is how you make your own copycat DIY Whitfield's slant version of Arby's pork belly sandwich. So, you saw it here first. And fourth. You saw it here first, unless you saw it somewhere else. Thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that other stuff. If there's something you want us to copycat or at least see our version of it, when we do a copycat, accuracy rate, maybe 25%. That's what makes us fun and whimsical. Like, comment, subscribe, all that other stuff. We'd love hearing from you. Share this stuff with your friends. Let them know what the future view exists so they can come watch us and bask in, in the glory of our efforts. That's not real dramatic. Thank you for watching, and until next time.